you know what? I'm going to give Justin Trudeau some credit where credit is due. Say what you want about the man, but Justin Trudeau is not a man for half measures. If he is going to destroy an economy, he will destroy the economy. If he is going to lust after power, it will be absolute power. And if he's going to corrupt the media, he will do it so publicly and brazenly that there can be no doubt as to what the media really is at the end of this month. This brings us to this month's story from a couple days ago and really starting now. So Justin Trudeau's prorogue parliament, it will be shut down until September 23rd. This is in the, in the middle of a major financial crisis, a global pandemic, a major scandal for him in the Wee scandal, a five minutes minister just resigning. They're shutting down Parliament. They're going to come back on the September 23rd. There'll be a confidence vote and maybe an election. Now, I bring this all up because this is a rather brazen attempt to just shut down all discussion around the Wee scandal, right? There's going to be people, there's committees looking into how much did his family members actually get paid. By the way, his brother, a propagandist for the Islamic Republic of Iran. I don't know why lobbying for nuclear weapons for the Iranians qualifies you to talk to Canadian children, but it does in the Trudeau first. Now, who is the defenders of what, what democracy dies in the darkness, the defenders of truth? Who are these people? Well, they're the mainstream media, of course, the Toronto Star, the Sun, the Globe. They will. They will stop Justin Trudeau in his tracks if he does anything unethical. That's the that's the credo of the National Post. Now, will there be the same five to seven journalists? Okay, now four to six journalists, rest in peace, Christy Blatchford, who would call Justin Trudeau out? On this, yeah, they'll probably do it, and the media will say, oh, "See, you're gonna get the the Trudeau tools." There's always there always is criticism of the Liberal Party. The media is anti-liberal because Anthony Fury wrote an article, and then Andrew Coyne in two weeks wrote an article above like a, a university level reading grade, and no one really understood it, but it was very wordy, and it said, "Yes, seizing absolute power and and shutting down Parliament is bad because it's authoritarian." Thank you, Andrew Coyne, for taking a month to get to the right point, but. What is more likely to happen is no one really says anything. When I say no one, I, if it's less than 10 journalists in the mainstream raising this issue, then it's effectively no one. And this is a pretty brilliant, not even brilliant, this is a pretty brazen, I guess, and calculated. It's going to work. It's probably going to work. Attempt by Justin Trudeau to show that, hey, I own the media now. I own it. This is my country. Because, hey, I'm going to shut down Parliament, you know. I already tried to take control of the judiciary, and the only people who can really stop me now, right, if, if there's parliamentary procedures into looking into the scandal, I'll just shut that all down. Just shut it all down to September 23rd, and then when we come back, there'll be bigger stories to cover, and the media just won't cover any of my scandals. It will go away. We'll throw around, around more free money for a while until the election. I'll get reelected. I'll get a majority, and then I'll let the economy collapse after that. I mean, the Bank of Canada is just printing money right now, and no one's really talking about it. I bring this up because what we're about to see in the next month is, is the media the vaunted fourth estate that will defend the truth, or is it a bought and paid for rag by Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party? And I, I, I you know, I guess we all know where my opinions lie. I, 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 I'm pretty strongly going to guess that it's in the latter. But here it is. Here's the brazen challenge to the media put out by Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau gambled $600 million, technically $595 million, that the media would be corrupt, either through monetary means or ideological ones. They wouldn't want to come after Justin Trudeau because he shares some of their social views, but they won't want to come after Justin Trudeau because it might hurt their pocketbooks. They're already hooked on the government coin. right? And the story just came out from True North that apparently some of the people on the independent media panel they actually awarded large sums of money to their own organizations. Can you believe that? Shocking. I know. Utterly shocking. I've still, I mean, let's, let's take a moment to just, let's all collect our thoughts here. How could someone abuse a, a government position to enrich themselves? Has that ever even happened before? You know what? If, if you're a fan of the show, can you do some research and find, you know, one instance of that ever? <laughs> Maybe not happening in history. Okay, we get the point. But over the next month, this will put the media to the test. Will they take up the challenge and say, I mean, Justin Trudeau's pretty publicly saying, I don't think the media's going to come after me. The only people who are coming after me right now are Yves Francois Blanchet of The Block and Pierre Polyev of the CPC. It's the only really people coming after me. So we'll just shut down Parliament. Then they can yell to the void. Now, will the media go to Pierre Polyev and try and find out his opinion? Will they go to The Block? Because I already saw the, the yesterday's um, CBC coverage, and what they were doing is they basically did the 
you know, they did the, you know, uh, Justin Trudeau shut down Parliament, but that it hasn't stopped the opposition from raising concern of the Wee Scandal. Yes, the opposition's raising concerns about the Wee Scandal. You know who isn't? You aren't. You're the media. You're supposed to find scandals and expose them. Do some journalism. I know it's scary. You know, sometimes you find out that, oh, someone tried to destroy Pierre Polyab's life. Maybe we should print that. Then they come after you. Did you say something? I know, it's hard. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta stand for something. It's very difficult. It's actually not that difficult. It's moder It's mildly difficult. But this next month, we will see who in Canada took the money to shut up and who has integrity. And I'm betting that there will be less than double-digit journalists seriously raising concerns within the mainstream media about the Wee scandal, trying to find the truth. I mean, they were trying to find the truth of how much did Justin Trudeau's family get paid. You can find that out. Canada Land, Jesse Brown, left wing. He did some digging. It's not mainstream. He found this out. You can do it too. The National Post, the Globe and Mail, the Toronto Star, they have all these resources. You can figure out. You can you can stand up and say, hey, Justin Trudeau, we're not bought and paid for yet. Yes, we might agree with you on abortion or whatever. But hey, we still have integrity. And if you're going to challenge us to say that, hey, we've just rolled over, well, you got another thing coming because you're not getting rid of the media in this country. This could be the month where we see that. And I would look like a fool, right? You Like, think of how much the media hates me, the person who is trying to take their spot and sometimes exposes their corruption. I'm not a, no one in the inside establishment likes me or what I do. Think of how stupid alternative media and figures like me would look because I'm just going to blatantly predict that you're going to fail. I'm going to stake my reputation on it. And I kind of have. Right? That's that's how alternative media is going. It's going to be saying, these people are going to fail. Watch them fail. So here's the next month. Globe and Mail, Toronto Star, National Post. You will probably fail. You are probably corrupt. Your bosses have probably been bought off to not pursue this story. But you can prove everyone wrong. You can get out there and you can actually do stories. See, the Wee Scandal can be a scandal, not because the Conservatives say it's a scandal like you've been covering. Right? Currently, the Conservatives are saying this. Right? It could be a scandal because something bad happened. You can expose it. That's called journalism. I know it's I know it's a scary thing for journalists to do, but prove me wrong, right? I'm betting my reputation that you're corrupt and incompetent and either monetarily or ideologically compromised. Prove me wrong, but you won't. And that's why everyone should subscribe to this YouTube channel or Facebook, whatever it is, click the like, the thing. If you want to help support me in my legal battles against the people suing me for trying to do some journalism, uh, then do that. But... Hey, we're all pretty sure that you're going to fail. And then by September 23rd, it will be official and there will be no doubts. And this is what I like about Justin Trudeau here. There'll be no doubts on September 23rd, whether or not people in the media have any moral integrity. And, you know, we can thank the glorious later for that one.